Welcome back to another update video. And right now, as you can see, the markets are red. I mean, unless you had all your money invested in basic contention token, which I am holding a little bit of basic contention token because I use the Brave browser. So I click those ads, get the rewards. So I do have a little, so I'm happy it's up. But yeah. Anyway, moving on. Now, yesterday's video, I showed you I had all my trades in positive. And uh, yesterday, my trades were in positive, but last night I noticed that my trades were stuck. They weren't moving, and I was like, what the heck? The market's moving. Why, aren't, why am I not making more profit? Well, it had went outside my range, so I had to restart all my bots. So I just canceled those out, closed them in profit. And hindsight 2020, it would have been smarter for me to just leave them alone. But what I do? I went ahead and opened three new ones. And all three of them are currently negative, not by a lot. So... Um, I reset the values. All of them are going to have the same price range. All of them are going to have the same amount of money invested in them. And we're going to watch and see what is better. Now, is it better to set a micro? So if we go to this one, we can see it's getting 0 0.02 to 0 0.04 every transaction. So this is like a micro scalper. So that's pretty cool. Then we got one right here. And this one is going to be set up 0.1 to 0.12% profit every single transaction. And we got another one up here. And this one is going to be set up 0.25 to 0.29. So looking right now, I mean, we're negative... 0.41% here, negative 0.42% here, and negative 0.46% here. So if it was positive, this bottom micro scalper might be 0.46 and 0.43 and 0.41. So we'll have to see on the way back up how this is going to shake out, how it's going to look. Now you can see here this one has done 65 transactions in the past 16 hours. So it's been doing lots of buying, not much selling. This one has done 20 transactions. And this one's done 5. So is more better or is less better? And I went ahead and took a gamble and started a USDT bot with... ETC or Ethereum Classic and I saw a pattern in here I saw a groove so I thought I'd take a gamble now I'm just doing a classic grid on this one and unfortunately I started at the very top which I knew it was the top so whenever you're setting these things up you can punch in a trigger price and that's what I should have done I should have topped in okay I'm expecting this to come down to a certain number. I should just punched in to start the bot once it got to that point. So, like I said before, hindsight's 2020. Next time around, next time I start a bot, and I see a pattern, I see a groove or a channel, I can punch that in. If the bot never goes down to that point, it will never start the bot. If it goes down to that point, boom bot gets started and you ride the waves so now one thing i did want to mention is if you go over here to market and let's click on etc you can see a little eyeball up here in the corner click that eyeball and boom that is all your buy orders and sell orders that you have placed in the grid now, like I said, I started mine at 7.75, so I almost caught the very peak right there when I started my bot. 
So the whole way down, it caught all those trades. And it actually went outside of my parameters. And luckily, it came back inside my parameters. And every single time it's tagged one of these lines, it is either bought or sold. So everything it bought on the way down, it's going to sell on the way back up. So if you notice a coin or a token that, you know, does that, it moves in waves and patterns and you can see the waves, you can see the patterns, you can stay, see, hey, this thing is going to stay stuck in this channel or this is going to stay stuck in the sideways movement. As long as it's moving more than, you know, 0 0.7 you can make profit on that. Now some of these, it's staying in a sideways channel, but whenever you get into it, it's literally not making enough for you to make a single buy or a single sell. So you just got to pay attention to it. And volume is key, man. Do not get into a, you know, when I first started this over a year ago, I jumped in with Algo and... There was no volume in Algo a year ago. So I was making money. I thought, this is awesome. You know, I was doing like 25 cent trades. And I had over $100 invested. Well, whenever I went to leave, you know, there was like 7 or $8 worth of people buying. And I was just like, whoa, whoa, no, I need to cash out $100. You know, I'm not a well. This shouldn't be a lot of money. But seriously, if I had pushed to exit a market sell, I would have lost a lot of money. So just pay attention to the volume, pay attention to all that kind of stuff. Now, if you go back, you can look at other stuff with this. Go to detail. And you can see how close or how far away from buying another order or selling another order. This little bar graph, you just saw it move a little bit. And it will just sit there and move back and forth all day long. But anyway, it'll just sit there and bounce back and forth all day long. Sorry about the interruptions. I keep getting yelled at by my kids. So, it is what it is. But yeah, we're just going to sit back, see how these things go. I'm really not worried about any of this because I think it's just dip in the market. And the calm before the storm. Lots of people fearing that it's not going to stay above 12,000. So they're taking their money, taking their profit. And others are just getting ready to pounce. So we'll see how this all shakes out and how it all goes. And I'll be coming to y'all with other videos other than just the reverse grid. I think I've covered it enough. And once all these are in profit, I'll probably close them out and show y'all a different video on something other than reverse grid. But I'm really interested to see, is it better to go super micro is it better to go somewhere, you know, not the uh, micro, but not that big? Or is it better to set it for large gains and go even larger than 0 0.25 every single trade? So time will tell and we will see. But that's all I got for now. Um, praying next time I come to y'all, all these are in green. And I'm able to move on and start a different type of trading bot. So I'll holler at y'all next.